Welcome back to Rational Funk. Dave King, Joe Johnson behind the camera. Today we're going to discuss uh, a, a real a real issue um, in the drum set uh, community, which is why we're going to answer the question and actually confront some real issues here. Why why is it that drummers have to sit down? Why are we why are we why are we in a seated position where everyone else in bands can stand up, including keyboard players? Rock keyboard players are standing there like this, they've got keyboards, they're, going, they're not sitting down. There's something about the, the stature of the elevator. And a lot of people say, okay, well then, that's what the drum riser is for. <clears throat> so the audience can see. But in jazz and everything like that, there's no drum riser when you're playing jazz. But why is it that we're sitting down? Why is it that we have to? Like our feet wouldn't work. We can't play the bass drum. Standing up. Well, you can't. I mean, why haven't people developed like these engineers that make these terrible hardware and like overworked um, scenarios, over schematic, over mathematical um, things that can you know like every angle can be maneuvered on hardware? But how come nobody has figured out the standing up hi hat stand? <laughs> you thought about that, Joe? Like where you're just standing and there's some sort of mechanism where you can use your hi hat while standing, right? That's really the thing that holds people back. But getting your balance together to be able to play standing up, because standing up is a real showmanship thing, right, Joe? Where you're just like... Yeah, audience goes crazy every time, right, Joe? Every time I... When I'm playing, all of a sudden I'm like this. Come on! Everyone's like, whoa, and jazz. Why, that sounds good. In fact, it's easier. There's this, there's this like more balance up here. because we're all used to sitting down. Like we're all used to the drummer has to sit while everybody else is just like, we're, also we're sedentary, you know? We have to be in this one spot, it's like a podium. Whereas everyone knows when you go see a public speaker or a politician, if they're only in one spot, they have less power. But when they're moving around and engaging, where is the moving around drum set? Where is the drum set that moves with your body as you're standing up? You're attached to it and walking around you know what I mean? Think about that, Joe. Everyone's like, oh, the cocktail kit, where it all packs in. We get so excited when the drums can all pack up into one neat shape that you can take on the subway. F that. I want a drum kit that like, attaches to me, and I can be like this going out. <laughs> you know what I mean? And in all kinds of music. Now, the thing that holds us back is getting our balance together, but also the hi-hat stand. It's true that I did not play the hi-hat there. Let's try that for a second right now. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I mean, that's hard, okay? You might have to forego the hi-hat until somebody figures out the standing hi-hat stand. And so, you know, let's just pretend right now that it's all about here, okay? We can't just go like this. You don't just immediately feel comfortable there. Well, you start, make your stool higher, right? So, do the old, my stool is now higher thing. Oh, I'm sitting pretty high now. Get used to this. <laughs> Problems with my, with my regular hi-hat stand until somebody invents the standing up hi-hat stand. <laughs> Well then what do you do once you get to the top?
top of this thing and you're like, well, I can't quite stand up. You're kind of like here, well, push that aside. Get yourself a pretty high stool like this. Now <laughs> This is kind of an ill look, man. I mean, like, you know what I mean? It's sort of like you sit down and everyone's like, whoa, that dude <laughs> sits, that dude sits pretty high up on the kit. <laughs> Like, yeah, I bring my own stool. The Dave King Signature Series stool. <laughs> it's about, and you get them adjustable, but make sure it's gonna be adjusted way up. So I'm almost standing up. See, I can still, now this I can still play a conventional hi-hat stand. So at this point, it's like, man, he, he's kind of engaging the audience a little bit more here. Keep the cymbals low. It's like, hey, man, I'm up here. Up here too, you can kind of react to you, the stuff you're doing, which is kind of a fun thing. I always love it when people react to the thing they just did. Of course, professional athletes are incredible at this. They score and they go, whoa, what? Well, as we've talked about professional athletes before, I want to do that kind of thing with the drums. I want to play a fill. Why are drummers there? almost like be watching yourself from above. It's like when people talk about being on the operating table and having a near-death experience and they're watching it happen. What we're looking for basically by elevating and coming up top is we're looking for a drum near-death experience. And this is a part of death lessons. We talked about we, you know, we were going to have life lessons. And were, this is the beginning of death lessons basically, right, Joe? Where we're, we're looking at ourselves playing. We're so high up transitioning from the regular throne to this level where you still hear I'm fully free. I am interacting with the, I'm, I'm fully, I just walk on stage like this. Imagine it, man. I walk on stage. There's no drum stool. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen, the Dave King Five, or the Bad Plus shows up. Hey, what's up? Woo! Make an entrance. What? You came to the gig? No way. Mmm. It's like you like this. Hey, a little jazz time. You know what I'm saying, little Philly Joe Jones? Backbeat. This is difficult without the standing up. Right? 